So um, the plan is to put a metal platform in, in this area here. Then this magnet, which weighs about 13 tonnes, uh, will, will be jacked up, pushed out into this area, and then lifted from here with this large crane on, onto the back of a, a, a lorry and, and, and taken to Daresbury for refurbishment. Tell me about this, um, this particular uh, scanner, Peter, because it's riddled with history, isn't it? Yeah, we, we can come and have a look. So this magnet um, is the first three Tesla uh, magnet to be built by, uh, by Oxford uh, Magnet Technology. Um, it was delivered into the newly built Magnetic Resonance Centre in, in 1991 uh, 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 as the first new piece of equipment here. And then it was at the heart of our research for more than a decade um, and in fact was only retired uh, a few months before its 20th year. Um, so constructed around it but, but by Sir Peter and his team was the world's fastest MRI system and it held that record for, for, for most of the time that this magnet was, was operational. At the, at the time this was installed images would take some minutes to create. Um, this was built with the idea of getting those same images in, in times as short of a, a tenth or, or maybe even a hundredth of a second. Uh, and that um, enabled him to look at dynamic processes. Uh, and this became very important for functional imaging. So I instead of looking at brain anatomy, it became possible to look at brain function. And it was really the use of high field combined with high speed embodied in this magnet that, that made that possible. Uh, and now that's blossomed in, in, into an enormous field in its own right. With many thousands or probably tens of thousands of publications per year. It's hard to quantify what impact that's had on, on human health. It, it's mainly provided neuroscientists with a, an instrument to look at how the mind works. So uh, this has been very exciting for psychologists. I, I think what we will see probably over the next decade is its application in psychiatry. The, the original magnet um, was a, a much smaller electromagnet. Uh, so this one here is three Tesla. The first magnet was 0.1 Tesla, uh, and, and that is now to be found in, in, in the London Science Museum. So Sir so Peter's very first scanner ended up in the Science Museum. Yes. And this one is going somewhere special too. Yeah, the, the really nice thing about this is, is, although this magnet is being retired from the Sir Peter Mansfield Centre, uh, it's going to have a new life at CERN where it's going to be used by physicists from York who are interested in the effects of magnetic fields on, on the radioactive decay of, of short-lived particles. So it will go on the end of the beam line uh, 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 at CERN uh, uh, and uh, they will put their detectors inside the bore uh, and we hope it will continue for another 20 years in, in, in that role. We've now gone from 3T uh, which is what this magnet is, to 70. So in 2005, we took delivery uh, 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 of, of the first 70 system to be supplied by Philips Medical Systems uh, and the first to be supplied to the UK. In fact, it was the second in, in, in Europe. Uh, and our frontline research is now centred around that 70, just as it was around this 3T 20 years ago. So, so Nottingham continues to pioneer the development of of, of ultra-high field in, in MRI.